Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Doncraft mod pack for Minecraft. Now, this mod pack did recently come out, at least at the time of recording this, a week ago. So I went ahead and seen that it was getting a ton of attention from the Minecraft community, and I wanted to go ahead and cover it. There's a lot to cover in this mod. This is a super huge mod pack with like over 250 mods. I think 254 to be quite exact. So obviously with all those mods, it is kind of impossible for me to cover absolutely everything unless I sat down for probably several hours and covered every single item, boss, building, and you know, you guys name it. So in this guide, I'm just going to be showing you guys what you need to know to get started so that way you guys don't make the same mistakes that I made. Now, if you guys are new to the channel um, and have not seen any of the streams, I'm going to go ahead and just give a brief recap here. About three days ago, I knew absolutely nothing about this mod, and I went into it pretty blind. Bro, this guy is go- Long story short, it did not end too well for me because, well, everybody kind of hated me. I had enemies in every village I stepped foot in, and I was constantly getting attacked. Oh, that's an end- Bro, that guy kicked my ass. So to go ahead and save this from happening to you, let's go ahead and get started on what you should do. Upon spawning into your map here, you will be greeted by a Korok, which is this tiny little like tree guy, right? You will speak to this guy. You don't necessarily have to, but I would highly recommend you speak to this guy. He's going to give you some basic dialogue, kind of tell you exactly what your purpose is and what the main mission is. So it's kind of like Elden Ring, you know, you got to take out the big, massive, you know, boss guy at the end and, you know, whatever, save the world, you know. Now, during this dialogue, he is going to mention that you need to make your way to the nearest village and speak to the guildmaster to receive your first quest, which will in return give you your first skill, which is going to be absolutely crucial for the combat. So how do we Get to this village you know you guys may be wondering how do we locate this village is it any village um in theory yes it really could be any village you could just kind of walk until you find one however upon first load up you guys are granted three items now you guys look in your hotbar below you guys will see these items and uh one of these items is pretty essential the other two i guess you don't necessarily need but the first item is a basic like uh it's kind of like a journal map um, it will allow you to add and remove markers, and it will also show you your deaths, and it will also indicate various structures around the map as well. Now, as for the second item, it is also another map. Um, it does have, I guess, some importance. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use it, but it does show you the nearest village, which is where you do have to go to get your first quest after speaking to the guildmaster. Now, the village is marked by a humongous red X. It's pretty hard to miss. Um, the map will probably be grayed out for you. I know at least on both of my worlds, um, the map was grayed out, so you might have to do some walking to uh, start filling that map in. Uh, but once you get there, speak to the guildmaster, and then you will receive your first quest. Now, the third item is a compass, and it will also tell you exactly which way you're heading, uh, which way you're facing, etc., on the bottom left of the screen. Now, once you locate your first village, uh, whether it's the uh, one that's marked on the map or not, um, once you get to a village, guys, you're going to look for the guildmaster. Now, he's typically in this long building. Um, it's not really too tall. There is a pledger on the, on the counter. There's like a bell. There's a book. Um, and it has a red roof, as you guys can see. Now, go up to this guy. Now, I, I really do have to stress this, guys. You have a reputation with these guys, okay? So, do not kill any of their boys. Um, do not just run in the village and start looting chests, anything like that, because if you do that, you will ruin your reputation. And, um, unfortunately, you will not be able to take any quests, and that is a huge role in this mod. So, you definitely need to be able to talk to these guys. Um, if you do, however, manage to ruin your reputation by stealing from their chests or uh, killing any of them, go ahead and make some um, emerald bundles. These essentially will... Well, it, it'll just clear your crimes, essentially. You just put them in, in the pledger, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and assume that you guys did not make the same mistake that I did, and you guys actually have a clean slate with these guys. 
Um, if you guys do, however, have a clean slate with these guys, go ahead and speak to the guild master. Now, he's going to go ahead and just run you some dialogue. He's going to tell you that if you go out and kill 10 pillagers, right, you will be granted a, um, a skill. Now, this skill is going to be, like I said earlier in the video, super, super crucial to the combat. Like, guys, I absolutely cannot stress this enough, man. This skill is so important. It will actually save your life in the entire mod pack. Without it, you guys are done promise you guys are done okay so if you guys are actually having trouble locating a pillager outpost um you guys can actually go back and speak to the guild master he will then run you some more dialogue just pretty much requesting that you bring him some paper um after you do that and you give him the paper he will then give you another map that is similar to the map that marked the village however it will mark the nearest pillager outpost with a giant red x go there take out the pillagers come back speak to him again and then you guys will unlock this life saving skill after completing your very first quest and obtaining your first skill go ahead and speak to the guild master once again what he's going to do is give you another quest which will have you take out the goblin king after killing the goblin king you will get a notification on the bottom of your screen above the hotbar letting you know that the quest is complete go ahead and go back and speak to the guild master once again and then he will send you on your very very first I guess boss fight quest well I guess a really serious boss fight quest and that will be to take out the corrupted ogre which will grant you your very first eye that will go to the end portal now there's a total of 17 eyes however you do not need all 17 you only need 12 so to go ahead and get the rest of these eyes and just keep doing quests from the guild master he will keep sending you out to take out several more bosses and yes they do get progressively more difficult after you do collect all 12 eyes you are ready to make your way to the end and take out the ender dragon now there's a few more things that i definitely want to cover in this guide that i think are relatively important for new players and that is waystones and orbs now waystones are these like kind of triangular looking things right that are in villages and essentially you just go up to it you activate it and then you can teleport in between villages now i know there is a way to actually obtain these uh personally so that way you can um teleport to your base or um, other destinations as well and last but not least guys i want to go ahead and discuss orbs now orbs are i feel like very important and crucial for new players because they will definitely push your journey in the right direction and uh you'll be able to last in boss fights a lot longer. So essentially what these do is um, they basically increase your stamina and your health bars. Now to obtain orbs, you are going to have to appease the Koroks, which are in the forest, or you will have to complete uh, puzzle dungeons. Now you could also use six essences in theory. However, the drop rate for them is relatively low and they drop from church doctors, big rats, or ogres. So farming them is not really practical. Now, after you manage to obtain four spirit orbs or even six essences, you are going to go to a goddess statue, which are typically found in villages. Now, these are Zelda-like structures, and you just go up to it and you just trade in your orbs or your essence for either more health or more stamina. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you are fully prepared to take on Doncraft and everything the world has to offer. If you guys did find this guide helpful, please leave a like down below. It would really, really mean a lot. I do plan on covering this uh, this mod pack more in depth in future videos. So if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to stick around for those. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Come down here, Kai. Oh no, he's oh he's dude, he's about it.